We are back in Zephaniah. We are going to study this book of the Bible in the Old Testament. I am starting the scripture breakdown and trying to put commentary to this chapter, chapter 3. This is the last chapter of the book of Zephaniah. If you haven't been following along, please go back and do so. Um, I've shared several videos on Zephaniah, but today we're starting in chapter 3. So, in this chapter, Jerusalem remains unrepentant. They haven't turned from their idol worship, despite the many warnings. And here, in these first few scriptures, he compares the leaders of Judah to that of lions and wolves. He says that they don't trust in the Lord. They don't trust in the Lord. They have no belief. Trust here means belief that the Lord is going to do what they, he says he's going to do. Then it goes on to say that they create violence from the laws. And the laws here, from what I found, he's talking about the laws that he has put in place back in Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And for more reading here, I found that, like, it says that to use the word Lord, to call him Lord, that's a special word here. It, it's a, a word that only God's servants should be using in the, in this text and... You know, he's saying that these, these prophets here, they are false prophets. In the end of this little section of chapter 3, it, it, it closes out with the statement of, Yet the unrighteous know no shame. So Zephaniah has told them that, you know, God is going to issue judgment, like the day of the Lord is coming, turn from your sinful ways, from your idol worship, your mockery of worship, follow the one true God, but they just keep at it. They keep at it. They know no shame. I'm going to continue sharing more on this chapter and the next section is um, some pretty big stuff, so follow along for that. I'll continue sharing.